So, for the first time ever for me, I'm doing a non... Well, this is a GoBot review, believe it or not. With all the combining and all the old stuff I've been thinking about reviewing, I was going through some boxes and I found the GoBots Monstrous set that I had gotten off eBay a couple of years ago. And I'm going to preface this with, first off, one, there's a lot of fading on the paint on these figures. Two, all of these figures are loose, so they're because of their age, they're all loose and kind of not so great with the joints. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what these guys look like uh, individually and combined. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with fangs. Um, I have no idea what kind of monsters these are supposed to be, but this guy's called fangs. He's, I'm assuming, a ground-type monster thing. I'm not really sure, so... <laughs> Plus, I don't have any directions for any of these guys, so I'm just kind of going off what the limbs just kind of want to do. So, that's pretty much it. He just kind of folds out and stands up. So, uh, that's Fangs. So, we're going to put him off in the back. Next up is Fright Face. I'm assuming he's a flying bug thing monster. And here's his transformation. I'm going to take that, fold it up, unhinge those bits, let the arms fall down, and there we go. I'm not sure what he's supposed to be either. Next up is Gore Jaw. Again, like fangs. I haven't got a clue what he's supposed to be. Um, just fold what will be his feet down. Kind of have to spread the legs apart. They're on a spring, which I'm surprised still is still working. So there we go. Gorja. He actually looks pretty cool. And next up is going to be Heart Attack. <laughs> I just have to laugh at the names of these things. Um, he is by far the loosest of all of them. I can't even get him to transform right. I think the legs were broken or misassembled at some point. So uh, all you do is just let this fall down and his head is on a spring here. So fold his wings up. There we go. <laughs> That's heart attack. Next up is Southclaw. Uh, some of these names are just stupid, but uh, he is very loose and floppy as well. Unfortunately, I had another figure of him that's much, much, uh, that's much more together, or I guess uh, much less floppy. But I can't find him, so. Kind of stuck with this one. <laughs> That's it. Let's see if he actually stands. Yeah, he, he'll stand. He's standing, this guy. I'm just going to put him over here. And last but not least is Weird Wing. I actually have him transformed incorrectly because the claws should be like that. So he's pretty much the same. Just kind of rotate, push the legs in, fold those, rotate that down, and that's Weird Wing. Alright, so I'm going to grab the camera here, and I'm going to do a close-up on all of them. So please excuse the poor Cameron, cameraman. And that's Weird Wing. He's a bat. That's South Claw. He's some kind of flying creature. That's Heart Attack. He is again a flying creature thingy. That's Gorjaw. He is a um, something. That's Fright Face. He has no face. 
And last but not least is fangs. And he's the thing. Now, something that should be noted is all of these figures were originally released in America as GoBots. In Japan, they were the in Japan, they and all of their GoBot brothers were under a Machine Robo line. Now, the villains in Machine Robo were an entire race of these things. You had the good guy mechs who were robot cars and whatnot, and then you had these things, which were biological weapons of some sort, I think. I, I, I could be wrong in that, because I've only seen the very end of the series, and I, I, I don't quite know what the whole series is about. But, you know, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get him merged together. So we're going to start with Fangs. And we're going to put transform him back into his uh, creature thingy mode. There's no real... There are kind of indentations here where these nubs plug in, but they don't... It just kind of sits there. So he's going to, be for, he's going to form one leg. Then we'll take Gorejaw. He'll form another leg. So we just got to get him back into creature mode. Urgh. So they'll form legs, then we'll take Heart Attack, and he is kind of interesting because his head will get pushed down, and then we take his legs and just kind of split them apart, and then these bits will plug into the holes here, like that. Kind of just fold his arms up. I'm going to move the camera again. Next bit is a uh, fright face. So we'll take his arms and fold them back again. We'll just return him to his kind of beastie mode. And then he's kind of a beast jet, so we'll take this part, we'll leave him like this, and then we fold that in. There are holes here, and they go right on top. And just as you actually, I think you actually leave that and then just push that down. Yeah, there we go. And then fold that in. Then we'll take one of the beast wing guys, fold the head up, flip this peg out, out of his ch whoops, sorry. Flip this peg out and take the leg and just create claws like that and then fold his arms back and it, it's not going to stay just because of the nature of the floppiness of this guy and that gets plugged into the side here and then we'll do the same thing for this guy fold that out fold all that up fold the legs down Sorry, my hands keep getting in the way. Oh, he's gonna fall over. And then fall, flip up the giant monster face. And here we have Monstrous. And I'm going to bring the camera around again so you guys can see. And as you can see, he is a mishmash of evil. He actually has a very, very cool bat like face. You can see that there. Looks like he's uh, perpetually constipated, but what are you going to do? Oops. Uh, I think he looks really cool. Uh, he's kind of like, I hate to say he's very much Power Ranger villains-esque, but he is. So how tall is he? Well, if you give me a second, I'm going to get some figures here from my other collection, and I will show you. Compared to Deluxe Cyclonus, he's not that much bigger. And compared to Shinkano, who is very typical Ranger size for their starting mech, he's I would say he's roughly the size of Deluxe Animated Lockdown. 
Uh, lockdown I don't have up here. He is in the basement, so... But, you know, he's... For a combiner, he's, he is smaller than most of the Transformers combiner. But considering how small GoBots are, that's pretty impressive. And he is a great shelf piece. The one thing I have to warn you, if you do get a hold of this figure, he is very floppy and none of the con connections are all that great. But he's a fun figure and I like him. And he was totally worth the, the $40 lot that I got him in. I got him with a bunch of other GoBots. This was a while ago, but he's definitely worth, I'd say at least 20, 30 bucks. But if you can get him, I would pick him up.